Today I have got my thoughts on LEGO set 75891, which is a LEGO Speed Champion set from 2019. And this I actually got as a Christmas gift last year, but just really didn't have any real plans for this set. So that's why it stayed sealed for almost a year. But it was last week or so, power went out, so I just decided to open a Lego set, and this was the lucky set that I opened. And you'll notice one really big difference with the set right away is that I actually left off all, all of the stickers. And there's a reason for that, it's just because I'm not a fan of stickers enough to want to actually put the stickers on the set, especially on the windshield. So I actually just decided to just completely leave the stickers off, except for the printed hubcaps on the wheels. So I just left those just because those are printed, and then there is a printed 1x3 plate on either side of the car as well which because it's prints obviously used them and so that's just the one main change that I did for the set and we'll start out with the minifig which is not bad I do wish other than maybe a little bit more printing but yeah I get that it's a race suit so there really isn't much more printing needed other than maybe the brand logo, which they've got that on there. But the only real gripe I have with the minifig is just they didn't include any sort of hairpiece with the figure. So that's probably the one main problem I have with the minifig. It's just the inclusion of a hairpiece would have been a nice touch to maybe just use this around my city, which is actually what I plan to do with the set and the reason I left the stickers off. But <clears throat> for the car itself, it was actually a pretty fun build. And the overload of blue actually made it a really challenging build. So I'm really happy with that slightly different challenge. Because most vehicle builds that I do are usually quite simple so this was a nice change for a $20 race car and I'm really after building this I'm really happy with how this whole thing turned out especially with some of the connection points for especially I think it's on the back where you build the separate little mini assembly and then you just slide it in and attach it to the car that I thought was a really interesting way of building because I don't remember ever seeing that type of connection be done. Like, yes, you'll get the plates with the studs on the sides. You'll get those for side connections, but you never get, I've never seen that integrated with just sliding the piece right into a certain spot. So that was kind of interesting. And the way they did the back section of the roof was very interesting as well. So I think that was an interesting touch. <clears throat> and the front was kind of the same way as the back with both sections kind of being sub-assemblies and then being added to the car in their own interesting ways. And then you just get this little side build which is just a giant fuel canister not sure what i'll do with that but i'll find some use for it and so that's pretty much everything for the lego speed champion set from 2019 and you guys probably won't be seeing any more videos until maybe my birthday in a couple of weeks because i've got a couple really busy weeks of work coming up so hopefully I can squeeze another video in 
possibly between now and then, but we'll see. So you guys can tell me your thoughts on this video in the comment section below and just like and subscribe for more because I will do more in the future.